Welcome back to Masculine Scrapping. I am now getting to the end of 2021 and working on the Christmas time. My son came and uh, flew in for the break. And this is pictures of me uh, picking him up from the airport. Uh, we're very happy uh, to see each other. And you can tell here I use my Cricut machine to cut out this airplane. And notice the background here. Again, I dropped this using Cricut Design Studio along with some guidelines for these photos and then in an outline so that uh, it could be a cut a matting border fitting uh, the outline of the airplane. Uh, same thing on this side, use Cricut Design Studio, cut out this uh, Christmas 2021 and also cut out the little Santa in the sleigh using my Cricut machine. Uh, you'll notice I did round the edges of these photos and the mats, not here in the middle, but just on the on the four corners. And I did that because I had a rounded edge on the mats. Uh, the, that one in the middle is a square mat on a round mat, but I decided that I would round this out, particularly because there's a lot of curves on the plane, uh, etc. So we'll just start working on putting this together. Uh, did already mat the photos just to help it go a little faster. That's other than designing everything in the Cricut Design Studio, uh, this is probably the uh, matting of photos is the most time consuming part of the process. Using my uh, cut photograph, turning it upside down so that I can use that to press down the photos. I don't want to get fingerprints on them or scratch them. And then we'll just get that in there with the there we go. Use the side of my hand to press that down. Doesn't don't need the uh, photograph for that, but I also don't want to get uh, any sweat on it. And the side of your hands has a little bit less moisture than the other parts. And we'll just see about getting that centered. There we go. I will use this here because I'm pressing down on some photographs. But there we go. That side's done. Now this one I need to be a little careful. I did pre-mat these two pieces uh, partially because uh, I wanted to be careful about getting uh, like that little piece of the A and the, the inside of the zero uh, placed on there without losing them. But then cut out this little Santa on a sleigh and same thing created the outline using Cricut Design Studio so that uh, it would play along with the Santa sleigh. I like, I like doing that. I think it's kind of fun. Um, I am going to get this photograph underneath the sleigh, so I want to place them first. Then I'm going to put this one down, and then I'm going to slide that one uh, into place. So the reason I do this one first is I want to make sure that I've got good placement. This is a picture of my son and our three animals who he hadn't seen, oh my goodness, probably for two years. So they were in love with him. We're all there getting ready to watch TV. So I put this one down first so that I can then place this one in the right place while sliding it underneath uh, the sleigh. Without having this one already taped down on this side, it would be a little hard to figure out exactly where I wanted it, and then it may not end up in the right, right spot. So there we go. Just place it down. And then tape. Now you can see here there's a little bit of a cut in that element, and that's because when I did the outline feature, it left that gap, uh, but I certainly uh, didn't keep the gap uh, on this particular uh, project. Uh, got covered up by the, by the Santa cutout. Actually, I'm gonna do this, just make sure that they're about equally aligned. There we go. There we go. And press down. So there we go, the start of Christmas. Uh, thank you to American Airlines for helping get my son here safely and on time. And hope you've enjoyed this project. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing your projects. Take care.